Hi, this is Ben Parisich with Remax, and welcome to your Real Estate Market Minute. Well, today I wanted to answer the question, should I buy a house, even though rates are quite a bit higher than they were last year at this time? And I think the answer is yes, if you can still afford a house, and if it still fits your lifestyle. Um, I have some buyers from last year that are completely priced out of the market. They're first time buyers and the rates have gone up so much they can no longer afford to buy a starter home. Um, the, the price range that they can afford a house that they would like just doesn't exist anymore. So um, they're priced out. But for the vast majority of my buyers, actually, most can still buy the house they want. It would just cost more. Uh, and some have to kind of uh, readjust their expectations and maybe buy a little bit less of a house, but they can still afford to buy a house. So for those buyers, I do think it's still a good time to buy. There's really only one reason not to buy, and that is interest rates have gone up. But I've got seven reasons why you should consider buying. Um, the number one reason is you can think it over. Last year you couldn't. Um, we would look at a house uh, if there was some minor interest in it. You kind of had to bid on it right away because there was like five other people bidding on it that night. There was no time to think about it. Negotiate. You get to negotiate this year. Uh, last year you couldn't. You had to pay asking and usually over asking to have any chance of getting it. Um, this year the market's cooled a little bit. It's still a seller's market, but many times there is a chance to negotiate. The number three reason is negotiation can yield a fair price, often less than asking. Again, last year had to bid over asking all the time. Uh, the number four reason uh, you don't have to offer an escalation clause. Uh, last year, again, multiple offers on every house. We were doing escalation clauses, which means that uh, the you would offer $1,000 more than the highest bid up to your cap, uh, you know, of X. Uh, and that was like a technique we used to try to secure the house for you. Well, that's not as important or... Um, is useful on some of these houses that don't have multiple offers. Um, appraisal gap, number five. Last year we had to use appraisal gaps because we would have to write over the asking. The seller would say, well, if it doesn't appraise, I want you to cover the difference. Um, and that's not happening so much anymore. So you get to avoid the appraisal gap addendum. Uh, number six. Uh, no need to waive the inspection clause. Last year, buyers often had to waive the inspection clause to make their offer stand out and to get the seller to go with them. That's not as important anymore. And in fact, sellers are willing to do reasonable repairs. And number seven, the biggest reason, uh, the most important reason to move forward with your purchase is you can refinance. We have a saying in real estate, marry the house and date the rate. So you can get the house you want. When rates go down, and they eventually will, just refinance. My first house I purchased in the early 90s, I think the rate was 8.5%, uh, which is a much higher rate than today. And I refinanced that house twice before we sold it. So there you go. There's one reason not to buy. The rates are higher. There's at least seven reasons why you should buy. And that's your real estate market in a minute. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to like, share, and subscribe.